Laughing Chris is good. Chris loves you all. You are Creation 13. I'm your bachelor. I'm Starcy. Um, and today I want to talk to you about um, on how humanity and how America is continuing to promote the end times over and over and over and over and over and over again. Um, this has been, I think, the third, yeah, the third straight year that I've said that this whole year calendar, this Gregorian calendar, recycles itself over and over and over and over again. Um, and it's it's still doing it, you know. Like I said, you know, in March, in March and April, um, they had their little wars and stuff like that. Um, but it's all building up to September again. You know, and, and it's the same repeated thing over and over and over again. Um, September, there's going to be something big happening. In September, something big happening. You know, and, you know, I, I just don't get why humanity is so focused or America or American people in general is so focused on on the world to end. You know, they just want it to end. Um, to me, that's just that's just ridiculous. You know, you spend all your energy leading up to something. You know, um, it happened this year. You know, oh, something awesome and amazing is going to happen in March, or um, something's going to happen in April during the blood moon. Um, you know, it's it's preparing for something. Um, but it always leads to some kind of doomsday or destruction. It's, you know, that is where the majority of people's hearts are at. You know, that's where the whole New Age movement is, is all oh, these certain signs are going to happen that's going to take place. Um, same with the Bible. You know, it talks about these predetermined things. You know, somebody's wanting you to follow this in sync patterns. You know, something's wanting to follow the E. Something's leading you to follow this. You know, somebody's wanting this to happen. Um, and like I've said before, you know, every September is a new year. Okay, you start over again in September. You know, this is why. This is why I've been studying this for three years now. This is why everybody keeps saying September is the end. You know, there's going to be some kind of destruction. Yes, it is the end because it goes into the new year. You recycle yourself again, over and over again. Humanity, humanity, or American people in general, they can't seem to grasp this. They can't seem to see the patterns. They're allowing the world to run them, the world to control them. You know, and you can see this. You can see what the what the elites are trying to do you can see what what the what the L E L or Bell L I'm learning that um, today by the way um, you can see the L energy taking shape you know Satan's energy trying to form its destruction you know but since we are living in a world of energy now not just the physical experience but energy experience it's a different it's a different um, way of things now um, because if you if you have been sticking with this um, since I'd say 2010 I'm sure if you stuck around longer than that because you know a lot of this spiritual stuff has been around for hundreds and hundreds of years um, but you are going to start seeing that it's not a physical experience anymore. It is an energy experience. It is, it is what you, what your desires or willpower is, is manifesting, and that is a form of energy. And to build up, you need to create a massive impact. You need to build up energy harness that energy and then you use that energy and that's what's going on right now you know that's why 
that's why there is so many people who are either um, brainwashed or you know are just following um, news you'll see you'll see the pattern that the energy is building up that's why it starts so early in March from March to September and you can you can do research in the past three years from March to eight, March to September is the buildup of energy and the energy goes to September and it decides the fate um, and ironically um, you know when they did the whole 9-11 thing which was in September um, that broke that broke the seal of awareness you know when that happened that broke the seal of awareness that they are that you know they broke that veil that the elite is is using um, build-up or hype or war or whatever you want to call it um, for September events and this happens every single year when we get a new perceived president it is in September I believe I'm pretty sure yeah in September so it's <laughs> you can see the pattern over and over again I've been studying this for three years um, and it is it astonishes me it really does the same with the asteroid thing for the past three years we have had in sync um, asteroids huge asteroids pass by the earth um, around the same sequence time periods we had one in March we had one in April um, I believe there'll be one in the middle part of May um, and then September and there might be some more other uh, after that too but it is in sync constantly um, and I would be surprised because let's see we if we had let's see we had a big asteroid in March we had a big asteroid in April and we're gonna have another one in May um, if we have another one in June and that's gonna tell you right off the bat about 30 day the 28 30 day um, cycle you know with the Sun and the moon you you become more and more aware you're only living in a 28 day period um, but that's not what this video is about but if you're watching this video and you notice that we have an, a big asteroid skimming through the earth um, in May and in June and then again in July you realize it is a repeat 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 so when September rolls around it's going to be the same that's going to be a repeat it's going to be build up here's a ringing <laughs> it's going to be build up to a September event and it's not going to happen because the energy is not strong enough and their energy is never going to get that strong so here's the catch because you because the energy is not harnessed it recycles again because what is September a new year so they build it up again you're stuck in the Gregorian spell um, the L spell the bell spell the Satan spell um, you know L is E L bell is B A A L or L um, Satan whatever it is the spell cycle over and over again um, is also known as the um, 13 spell cycle which again I've talked about that before um, there's two there's two 13s um, and I'll talk about that um, later because I'm doing some more research on it so um, with that being said um, you know realizing you know realizing what you're putting your energy into you know why why you need to ask yourself why do you focus so much on on the end of the world end of an age um, these stories you know like in the Bible so forth oh this prophecy is happening oh this prophecy is happening without realizing 
then you have to put energy into it. You know, you you are an energy, you are a pillar of light. And what is a pillar of light? A pillar of light is an energy source. It is a source of light, a source of energy, just like a light bulb, you know. You have the power to turn on that light. And what you need is an electrical current to get to that light bulb to turn it on. We are all pillars of light. We're all energy sources. Now, that is, now you have to um, expand it even more. You know, we're not just pillars of light. There are people who actually um, are the circuit holders that actually dwell, um, dwell and hold that and harness that energy. Um, they're called anchors. And, you know, just like I've talked about with the sheep, so on and so forth, you know, you got a bunch of sheeps that roam around the world um, engulfed in human teachings. Um, they're just pillars of light. Um, and then you got the anchors that take the energy from the pillars of light to strengthen them so then they can manifest what they need. Um, be it positive or negative um, and this is this is some deep stuff you know but if you if you really play close attention to what a lot of people have been talking about you know whether it be through new age um, uh, witches warlocks um, uh, the god of the bible or the gods of the bible because um, god is plural in the bible um, you will realize that there is energy that everything is based in energy um, and somebody will will take your energy if you're not if you're not harnessing your own energy you know you have a magnetic field around you and it's up to you to to keep that barrier um, untouchable and the only way you can do that is by learning about energy um, and discovering what energy is. It's not just something that you just go imagine and go, oh, okay, I'm protected. You have to feel that energy out. You know, when I woke up in 2010, everything was was shown to me all at once. Um, and the the reason behind it, you know, I I don't know. You know, I really don't. All I know is that it just everything clicked and everything was showed to me just like that um, and more likely just so then I can you know experience it know what I'm talking about and then do research on it you know I've been doing research on this since 2010 you know that's that's not a very long time you know it's what torn proceed 2015 now and that's really not a long time for to do research but the research that I've have collected um, for others can take a whole lifetime you know so for a five year for just five years um, that's that's pretty pretty uncanny and a lot of people are, are that way right now a lot of people are learning extremely fast it's because you know like I said you know there is no such things as years anymore it's just 28 to 30 day cycles repeating itself over and over and over and over again um, but until you break out of the Gregorian spell of the year cycle that you're repeating over and over and over again, um, things will get shorter. The days will get shorter. You read that in the Bible. It'll tell you the days will get shorter um, when um, when the um, guardians of the galaxy, when Christ comes back. You know the days will get shorter. It's because that it's because we are becoming more and more aware of how this this um, entrapment spell works you know certain people are on this planet chose to be on this planet for a reason um, to make you aware of the entrapment here aware of the spell that has been put on this world for a thousand years and um, just like I read, I think I talked talk about in a previous video, you know, in Genesis it says that the world was created in seven days, but but if you read further into the Bible, 
one day is a thousand years. So it took the world 7,000 years to repopulate, recycle, and do its thing. So, that being said, it also says in there, um, which is interesting because, you know, if one day is a thousand years, so if Satan is trapped a thousand years and then Satan is free a thousand years, jeez. That would mean one day is a thousand years, so that would mean ten thousand years? Maybe? I don't know. That's something I had to research. I didn't really even think about that. Um, because I was thinking, well, we're reaching the thousand year period, but maybe we're reaching the end of a ten thousand year um, period. Um, could be. I don't know. Um, nevertheless. <laughs> See, you know, that's why I love making videos, because things just continue to pop up. Um, so, with that being said, I uh, kind of lost my train of thought here. Um, you know, because with that being said, you know, with Satan, you know, ruling this planet, you know, it has to do with the fallen angels, and, you know, them messing with the human genetic codes and so on and so forth. Either way, it is the um, it's the Satan spell, the Gregorian spell. Um, it's up to you to get out of it, you know. And you know, I can talk about this all 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 day long, and I'll be making a couple more videos about this. But you know, I find it very interesting, you know, on how on how you know especially Americans the reason why I say Americans is because you know if you go around the world um, you know they're very um, accustomed to their own belief structures and they stick and they stick with it um, but they do like to learn about different cultures you know and that's the thing that that is something American needs to learn is that you know different cultures around the world are willing to learn about different cultures as well but when you're in America it's very it's very shallow narrow-minded and you know people get stuck in their own little fetishes you know uh, um, what just popped up in my mind is uh, you know that Americans are a bunch of uh, they remind me a little you know a little stuck up rats you know that they get so you know they have the silver spoon in their mouth and they're just like oh yeah you know I can do what I want you know I want to be free spirited and you know if somebody tells me something whatever because you know I want to have fun and live life you know that that's kind of the attitude of America and you know to me to me that's not that's that's making America's face even worse than it is because um, America is you know a, a politician a political world of control and money and uh, the elite try so hard to make America their um, their heaven um, and you know even though even though the leaders of the world all work together um, because they do you do research, you know, they're all on the same pay payroll um, And the funny thing is, you know, China's China owns America anyways, so I mean that alone just shows you, you know, just what America is um, But anyways, uh, oh yeah, that's what I was gonna talk about um, But you know America Americans in themselves are just really lost, you know, I mean People are opening up more and more they are um, And they're starting to see things, but you know the whole new age movement um, the whole um, Same-sex movement because that, that, is, that is getting huge, you know, I already talked about in the previous video um, About the same-sex movement as well, you know, if that's what you want to do. That's fine. But you know, you you got to see the patterns that are unfolding. You really do. 
um, because you don't see you don't see um, the same sex movement in other countries or cultures compared to America. America is is built upon it. Yeah, maybe around other cultures, but it's not as big as America is. Um, true facts. Um, but um, what I was want to talk about too is uh, is that energy build up? You know, because people are building energies in their own little little belief structures. Like I said, America is so stuck in belief structures and their perceived free will. Um, talking about uh, cops and you know them promoting their their uh, I guess I'm not supposed to talk about it but you know they're trying to use energy to create um, uh, martial law in big cities again like I said if you're living in a big city you need to get out because you can see the trends of what's happening um, you see the trend that the police the police in big cities cannot handle um, the big cities which is a lie because you know most of the stuff that happens you know there whatever there was some kind of big old thing in the city you know where they lit a whole bunch of stuff on fire or whatever um, if you kept up on it you know what I'm talking about um, but they're publicizing it because they wanted to make it martial law um, so it's not so it's it's not going to be a police state it's going to be a um, what would that word be uh, you know an imprisoned state um, because basically they're going to have uh, the army come in or patrols come in and take care of things um, you can see it happening I and mean, you you really can and it it will happen and the point the point of it is is that these big cities have to go you know humans need to learn to migrate out into the world um, I've talked about this in previous video before humans need to learn to migrate out into the world and learn to take care of the earth and that's what's happening you know America has got so congested in one little areas that is just secluding humanity um, it's secluding America you know and it's it's pretty selfish of America to spend all that money on on building bigger cities when we should be focusing on on creating farms and some and you know creating farms and taking care of the earth you know um, <sighs> I was reading something uh, about California, you know, and how they're having a drought or whatever, and then they go and spend 1.8 million or billion or whatever, a ton of money on a new stadium. So, you know, they really spend a ton of money on a new stadium instead of, of you know, using a w different water resources to rehydrate California. <laughs> it's just ridiculous, man. I mean, California is right at sea level, okay? So you can use the water there to re rehydrate California. Easy, easy. You know, and with all that money they spent on the stadium, they could easily create a big old huge water system uh, to, you know, they can even create a huge dome to repopulate California, you know, rehydrate it. But, you know, again, America just astonishes me when it does. It, it's just, it's it's stupid. It really is, you know. People buying $600 phones when, you know, they could be, you know, doing other things with the money. It's just, it, it's just, it's, it's jacked up in other words. You know, all we're here to do is take care of the earth, take care of humanity. Not just America, not just Japan, not just England. We're supposed to take care of humanity as a whole. And with the technology and all the equipment that we have, we could easily help the world just like that. But because everybody's stuck in a belief structure and all this stuff, 
um, it's just a divining uh, divining source um, a divining energy uh, they are divided from the source you know um, they're stuck in the spell of L um, again I'll, I'll talk about that again but yeah spell of Satan whatever you want to call it um, the spell of 13 which again like I said there's two meanings behind it so yeah <laughs> So I, that's what I want to talk to you guys about is just, you know, realizing that we're not living in a physical world. We're living in, in energy, in an energy world. You know, where is your energy going? Um, do you know how to create a field around you without just, you know, thinking you have that field? You, know, you need to actually learn about the field. You need to learn about um, the 28-day, 30-day cycle that you repeat every single month. But there is no ones because it's just you're repeating the same 20 days over and over again. But until you master the Gregorian spell, the year Gregorian spell, you ain't going to be able to know that. Um, but you'll see it again. I mean, it, they're going to keep talking about this whole September thing and this whole what if scenario. Oh, the Bible says this, the Bible says that, blah, 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 blah. You know, and it gives you hints, you know. I mean, we had blood moons the same time last preceding year. And we're going to have them the same time this time. It, it's giving you hints, you know. It really is to that, you know, you've got to break out of the cycle, you know. And, and like I said, you only get like, like 100, 200 views on my videos. So I'm not even reaching a percent rate of humanity. So, you know, I mean, other people are talking about this stuff, but, you know, it's, it's just not out there. But it is getting closer. Um, and I I think I made an earlier video, I don't know if I actually posted it or not, you know, saying that, you know, March was very important to keep things going, to keep things motivated, to make you aware that you're stuck in a cycle, basically. Um, and I'm determined to break through that barrier um, before your guys' September New Year hits again. Um, like I said, I gotta start talking, gotta start doing Google Hangouts. Um, start talking about this with other people. Um, so yeah, so um, yeah, it gives you stuff to think about, you know, that life is not physical anymore, life is energy. Where's your energy going? Who are you putting your energy to? Um, is someone anchoring your energy and taking your energy? Um, that's another important thing: is learning, learning about energy. Um, so I think I'll talk about that in the next video right now. Um, there's tons of videos I want to talk, you know, talk about. But yeah. So yeah, um, I'll go ahead and quit rambling on. So yeah, so um, this gives you guys something to think about. Like I said, you know. Uh, discover what the 28 day cycle is um, you can use the moon as the starting point you know you got the new moon full moon to new moon that's a 28 to 30 day cycle so um, that is your starting point and it's not following the months or the the date and the month it's just following the new moon full moon new moon thing that way then it gets you used to to the 28 night 30 day cycle and it's not just because I had someone say to me oh well you're you're um, putting your energy into the moon that's not the case because you know you have the Sun and you have the moon it's the Sun rises and the moon sets and then the Sun sets and the moon rises it's just a consistent um, cycle and it it's consistent within that 28 day cycle it is as a whole you know you're not you're not worshiping the moon you're not worshiping the sun it's just the cycle of life and it you know it's it's a spiral motion and that's it I don't know where these people come up with all these negative ideas um, or foolish I guess it would be foolish ideas pretty much you know just like when you tell people hey you know eating animals is bad for you uh, that foolishness 
comes in. And it's the same way with people who just eat all all fruits and veggies and stuff. You know, I eat all fruits, veggies, nuts, and you know, that good stuff, right? I don't eat no animals at all. But there's people who just eat just like myself, but they become foolish in saying, oh, you know, um, they they do the counterbalance. You know, I was reading something on Facebook, and uh, they're saying, oh, another another bacon joke to vegetarians. You know, you're, you're a vegan, vegetarian, whatever, and then they, they crack a joke, oh, I love to eat steak, or I like to eat bacon, something like that. You know, they put that in the post. It's just, and then it makes the vegetarian people and the vegan people um, infuriate. So it's just, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a cycle, but they both become foolish at the same time. You know, that's why, you know, everybody's always asked me, hey, are you a vegan? I'm like, no. Are you a vegetarian? I'm like, no. And they're like, what? I say I'm just a natural eater. You know, I don't eat animals. I just, I am a natural eater. And, you know, and then they're like, oh, no, you're a vegetarian. And I'm like, no, I'm a natural eater. And that's it. And, you know, like, again, you know, America tries to categorize things. They do. But anyways, like I said, I could keep talking forever. So if you got any questions, let me know. Um, hopefully this video will make you think and look into these things. You know, look into the spells that have been put on humanity. The spell of El, the spell of Bell, the spell of Satan, the Gregorian spell, the Roman spell, whatever the case may be, the Abraham spell. Um, that's also in the Bible, the the family of Abraham and his many sons. Uh, again, I want to make a video about that. So it's the spell of Abraham as well. So yeah, so I love you all. Love yourself. Keep shining bright. Look into these things. Guarantee you it's going to change your life. And the more and more we bring forward or become aware of these spells that are on humanity, the quicker that we will break these seals. Once this spell is broken, poof, awesomeness. Guaranteed. So, yeah. So, I love you all. Keep trying bright.